Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, let me get straight to it. So I mentioned in my Insta story, or was my Snapchat? My Snapchat, that um, I am stopping pineappling. Pineapple, doing a pineapple at night. Um, for those of you guys who do not know what that means, it's simply putting your hair all the way up in a loose scrunchie like so and allowing your curls your waves your kinks your coils whatever to fall cascading down and that is a way to preserve your curls i have my hair like this because i literally just woke up and did my makeup and started doing this so this right here is a banding and i probably will never go back to doing a pineapple ever again <laughs> The reason I band, now these are my daughter's bands. You guys can use any band that works for you. Um, you do not, of course, you don't want to use something like this, although you can, but um, I prefer a tighter band um, that you would use like a ponytail holder for your hair. I did this last night. I did not do anything to my hair, so let me just take this down. Now you see how all I had to do was literally go like this and I'm good for the most part. I'm good. I could leave the house, you know, and not have to manipulate my hair like I would if my hair was on a pineapple. Again, I'm just going like this, fluffing it out and bam, <laughs> like I can literally walk out of the door. Like I can do this in the car on my way somewhere. If I really want, you know, if I'm really rushing like that, I can do that. Make it work, make it work, make it work, make it work, make it You know what I mean? <sighs> Look at this. Did not pick it out. Nothing. Now this is fourth day hair, I believe. Fourth day, yeah, yeah, fourth day hair. Um, and I can literally go. I swore by pineappling, and the only problem is when I pineapple and I bring all my hair up into a high puff, right? and I would put it on one time and I would take my scarf, you know, and tuck it like this. And I would usually go to sleep like this. But in the morning, okay, after I took out my pineapple, when my hair fell, all of this would be so pressed together that it would look thinner, you know what I mean? And I like voluminous hair and I would have to do so much manipulation to get my hair to look the way I wanted to. I would have to pick out my hair a lot to get the fullness on the ends. See, I like how it's full on the ends, okay? And banding is what created this for me or helped, you know, me get the fullness on my ends. And then it would take a long time for me to get my roots to lay down the way I would like my hair to lay down. Um, but with banding, oh my God. Banding is awesome. So I would take this section and I would go ahead and get the roots, okay? So you wanna get that tight. And I will go ahead and bring it down like so. All the way down as far as I can go. Then you can leave it like this if you want. So when you leave it like this, all of this right here, of course, is going to be stretched out, and then this will be full. Now, if you want even more of a stretch, you can go ahead and put another one down all the way down to the ends. However, 
if you do it all the way down to the ends, it's going to make your curls straighter. Um, and you're not going to keep the curls as much. This is what I noticed from my hair. Like right here, um, you see how the curls are more wavy. Um, if I pineapple my hair all over, it would probably be like this everywhere. But because the bands are stretching it, of course, um, it's going to lay down this way. So key for me is to get that fullness so I don't have to pick out my ends and all that. I would leave this just like this so that in the morning this part is going to be laying down and as the days go on as the day goes on it will start to get its shape again because banding didn't always work for me in the past because it would start to mess up my curl pattern so um, i just had to play around with it and it worked so see how this is really you know flat and wavy like what I would do to get that to kind of get the curls in shape, you can always take some water to get that going. But for me, water kind of causes frizz and doesn't really help my texture. It's weird. My hair, y'all, pray for it, okay? But I would take like breakout, <laughs> break out the Hawaiian silky. What y'all know about the Hawaiian silky? This that jam now do your dance. <laughs> This was my stuff. I used to use this way back in the day. Place it in my hand without water. It's up to you. You just have to do what works for you. And I would just go ahead and kind of do the praying hands method. And just kind of scrunch it. You know what I mean? Maybe you can do one where you see some frizz. I might take that and just work the product in it. Kind of spiral at the end. And then just let my hair be, okay? So the trick, like I said, for me is when I when I bend my hair, I leave a good amount of my ends out. So this allows my ends to still be curly. It's not messing with the curl pattern, but then this is going to stretch out my hair. Another thing is when you bend, your roots are going to be flat. So if you like that look, um, your hair is going, I love the look where it goes like this. That's the, the triangle look. I like that look. A lot of people may not. But that's what I like, and that's what I get, as you can see, when I band my hair. Pineappling, I get a lot of smushing, because, you know, of course you're not gonna wear your hair up, so your roots are constantly being laid on, going this way, and then in the morning, you're trying to get your curls to come back down. And sometimes, it could be a lot of manipulation. I used to take a blow dryer sometimes, and get underneath here, and get my roots to just, you know, to lay flat. And um, I don't have to abandon now. It's not the cutest thing at night with your man or your boo, your significant other, whatever, okay? It's not the cutest look, all right? You know, pineapples used to be cute, you know what I mean? However, this scarf is real dingy, okay? So don't judge. Don't judge me, all right? So I would take a scarf that is similar to this, kind of like what you would use if you have braids where this is a closed, um, scarf and I would take it put all of it in there and I would push this back this section that will be banded back into it tie it around so that your edges are you know all good to go then your hair is all protected sleeping on it is no problem at all it's it's, it's comfortable it's fine um it just ain't the cutest when you go to sleep. You know what I mean? So if you're worried about that, then I mean, I don't know what to tell you, but you know, there are ways to go around it. Your scarf will hide it. Another thing is, I only did three bands. However, normally, do not forget the middle section of your hair. If you want that volume, make sure that you get this middle section, okay? this middle section of your hair and band this. So that when you take out your bands, you're going to have this out like this and you're not going to have that crease um, for you know where your hair is being separated. So I don't know if that makes sense. Banding has changed the game in my life. So I just wanted to make sure that I showed y'all. Y'all, it works. Give it a try. Let me know if you already do. Banding is nothing new, um, but I just wanted to share this with you guys because it changed the game for me. It changed the game because my results, my results are just...
I have no complaints. No complaints. Um, Y'all can keep pineapple. Okay. Thank you guys for watching this video and hope to see you guys in my next one. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any future videos. And also click that bell, y'all, so you guys can stay notified. Go ahead and give me a like if you like this video and it was helpful for you. And I'll see you guys in my next video.